So this will just be a quick video on an introduction to double integrals. So a general formula for the double integral is r with the region of some multivariable function x, y integrating over an area. And I'll show you that in 3D Desmos in a little bit. But another format that you might see for double integral for the region will be in maybe parentheses or in, I'm just going to use a close bracket, I don't know what that's called. But you're going to get some domain for x and some domain for or range for y. And this is technically your region that you're integrating upon for your function f of x, y. dx dy. Now this part of your uh, range is always the x value and this part is always the y value when you're integrating upon dA not dx dy. So this is your x bound this is your y bound x y and when you're setting up this integral let's erase this it just looks like this. 0 to 1 and 0 to 1 for your function f x y of dx dy. And the order in which you put the dx and dy matters because your bounds must correspond with the order. Let's say you have a graph and you're trying to integrate upon this region here where this is 0, this is 2 for the bounds for x and this is 1 for the bounds of y. Well, this is what your integral would look like. Let's erase this. Your integral would look like this with dy first. And the reason why is because your first integral, so this one closest to the function, is the bounds of the dy or dx closest to the function. So this section here is closed off. And once you solve for this integral, then you can solve for the entire integral. So what I mean by that? Well, dy's bounds are 0 and 1. In this case, you're integrating upon an area. So 0 and 1 are the bounds for 0 and 1 for this first integral here. So this is our dy bounds, or, or, or our y bounds. Now how about for the x boundary? Well, for the x boundary, just from 0 to 2. Notice how we wrote 0 to 2 on the outside uh, integral. Now the order in which you place the dy or dx matters when you are solving for integrals. So what do I mean by integrating upon an area? Well now that we're in Desmos 3D you can actually see this. So this is our traditional function some paraboloid x squared plus y squared and we're going to integrate upon this area here. So in traditional calculus one, you are going to integrate upon just x. That's why you only just see dx. And when you do that, you find the area under the curve. Right? Now that you're integrating with double integrals, you're going to find the volume under a surface instead. So anything that intersects with this anything in between this area right here 0 to 1 for x and y values and the surface will count as a volume so what I mean by that well think of just a bunch of lines going straight vertically up and as you go vertically up stop that line the moment you hit this paraboloid and if you can visualize this somehow all these lines going vertically up infinitely many along this area will add up to a volume in order to get your double integral so recap a double integral solves for volume and you're integrating upon area and traditional calculus one you will get an integration upon a x axis 
the, the x-axis, I guess like a line, and you'll get an area. So we're just going one dimension up when you're integrating upon something. So if you integrate an area upon area, you go one dimension up and you're, in, and you're solving for volume. If you're integrating upon line, you get area. So it's, line is 1D and area is 2D. An area is 2D and a volume is 3D. So if you have any questions, put it down in the comment section.